Oh, I went in with Armenia basketball national player, Avon Dorian. Thank you for joining me today. No problem. No problem. I'll start with my first question. How old were you when you started playing basketball? Um, Surprisingly, I don't know if you guys are going to believe this, but basketball was actually not my first sport. It was actually soccer. I started playing soccer when I was four years old. And about like one, two years later, I started picking up basketball because my family, like we're a big sports family, all sports, football, basketball, soccer, everything. So I, when I first got into soccer, I still, I still had so much time on my hands. I was a little kid. I got put into basketball like literally a year later, and I've never looked back since then. So it was a good decision that you made to switch from soccer yeah. to basketball. In about eighth grade, yeah. In about eighth grade, um, I had to make a choice because I was on two club teams that were, uh, I was on a soccer club team and a basketball club team. And practice were going to be basically every day of the week. And I had to make a decision. And I, had, I guess I made the right choice. Yeah, you definitely did. I, yeah. think, like, I saw like a, I think it was on YouTube. Like it was a view from like 2016 or something, like a mixtape. Yeah. Oh, a basketball mixtape? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was Ball is <laughs> Life. Um, That was like, I got invited to a camp when I was like in fifth grade, sixth grade. I, I don't remember what years, like what, how, what grade I was in. But yeah, those were fun times, fun times. Yeah, it was pretty cool seeing that. Yeah. What was the most intense high school basketball game you ever played? Um, if I have to go back and look at that, there's two. Di- playing for Armenian school, there's different kinds of intense games. There's the ones like you always have those Armenian rivalry games that mm-hmm. are always the most intense because everyone who you know is there. And there's the Armenians from like the other side and the Armenians from your side. Like it's very heated games with very personal, like personal values and a lot of important it's it's just like not maybe if it's not even a league game they're just so mm-hmm. important to everyone just like by for our for ourselves so we played against Pili well, every time we play against Pili Bos, it's always a packed house last year when we played them there were a thousand people in our gym we sold out and people were jumping the gates of our school to try to get into the game that's and, crazy uh, I, yeah and I also that's I like to say that that game was the most intense because I had a huge game too I I ended up hitting like a game winning shot not buzzer beater but the game ceiling, Sean. That that's a moment I'll never forget. Yeah, I bet, and I've seen like the crowds of Armenians. They go crazy, yeah. like the yelling in Armenian too, like the language, yeah. like the moms, like they get into it, everyone. Yeah, yeah. The parents are always into it, and if um to like take a to another direction, the most the uh, another game that was probably the most intense. We when we played this year, we played Rancho Christian, top high school in the country. I don't know if they were supposed to be Division Two, but they were. But our whole fan base traveled four hours to come watch us play, and it was it was a blast. Even though we lost, we were hanging in there for a while. So it was great. Yeah, that must have been like cool to have all that support and long drive. Yeah, yeah, it was amazing. We had just as many fans as they did, and it was a four hour drive, and they had like four, five D one commits, and we have none. And we were literally we were hanging in there. Halftime, we were down four, but second half they ran away with it. But it was a great game, great experience. Yeah, because you're playing against like college level guys because they're yeah, yeah. they have the Cal commit, right? They had the yeah, they have a Cal commit, the big Pepperdine commit, they have a USD commit. They had, they had a lot of good players. What was your biggest learning experience from your high school career? Um, there's a lot of stuff I learned from high school, but just the one thing that I, I like to look back on is that everything just goes by so fast and when I was, I could literally remember when I was the ninth, like, I feels like yesterday when I was the ninth grader on freshman, var, and uh, I was a ninth grader on varsity, and I was like, the seniors were telling me, like, in, like take every second, like, don't forget anything, like, it's going to go by so fast, and I'm like, no, I have four years, bro, like, what? Like, it's not going to be that fast, and then fast forward here, like, it felt like it was, it went by, like, a, it went by, like, so quick. Yeah, so just it feels like just yesterday, like you were just starting yeah. make, gonna make uh, your high school debut. So the, yeah, so the lesson I learned was definitely just to enjoy the moment and take don't take it for granted. Yeah, because you're not always gonna have like the high school yeah. you know, days they go by quick. Of course, yeah, because I, I was playing with my I've been my whole team this year, the high, our high school team. We we're all we grew up in pre K together, so it was so cool for us, especially to go on this run together. So. I, I definitely didn't take any moment for granted, especially this year when our, with our historic run and stuff. Yeah, it's like so you guys, you know, like you were the underdogs and you made a run. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Armenians are always underdogs, but we're used to it at this point. How did it feel to get the call up for the Armenian national basketball team? Um. Yeah, th- this was this was a big one. Yeah, I, I couldn't believe it. And I didn't know what to expect at all. But as soon as I heard that, I was so excited and honored to be able to 
like represent my country that I've been learning about and been like so interested in for my whole life. And I just felt like, wow, this is really my opportunity to be able to help out my country, my opportunity to do something big. And it was, it really is still an honor because I'm still going to be playing for them. Yeah, you get to represent the country. I'm, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm sure are your parents telling you about your grandparents, like, you know. Yeah, yeah. And at the games, even like, like oh, my whole family tree was their grand. Like, some of my grandparents, like, 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 didn't come to all my games. Like, we're at both these Armenia games. Like, they were so excited, and it was such like an honor to be able to put like put on a show for everyone. It was amazing. Yeah, just a great experience, and that you'll get to keep doing. Of course, of course. What kinds of things did you learn just in practice playing with top level guys and having an NBA coach? Yeah, so um, I knew some of the guys going into this, but some of them I didn't because some of them were from Russia, Spain, like second division Spain, first division France. Some of them played in the NBA. Some of them played in the G League for a little bit. So I had so many different people and so many different tools to learn from. And I, I, did, I took advantage of that. I asked so many questions, especially – to the older guys, the guys that are like 28, 29 years old, like I would be like doing moves and they would stop me and be like, no, do it this way. This is more effective to work on like your hesitation this way. And then I just, I took that, I took all that information and I, I'm working on that. I was working on that actually all right now today. So I'm working on everything they're telling me. And it was just such an honor to be able to represent my country and then to be able to learn from these people, especially Rex. Coach Rex taught me so much. I had an individual workout with him the day before uh, the Armenia team started practicing together. And he gave me so much good advice for me to be able to develop my game and go to the next level. And hopefully like next time when I'm, when I'm 20, 21 years old, I'll be able to be a much, much better player. Yeah. Like he has, like he coached, I'm pretty sure like he coached Russell Westbrook. Right. Yeah, of course. Friend. Yeah. He's, he's coached so many NBA players and he just recently was an assistant coach for the Detroit Pistons. So he's doing really big stuff. Yeah, and then like you said, like the players playing in Europe professionally, the NBA, the G League. Yeah, yeah. It's good to be able to practice them. It makes you better. They and they're nice. Like they're sharing sharing their knowledge for of you. Of course, yeah. It was, I learned so much from everybody, even the the guys my age. I learned so much from everyone. It was it was amazing. What was it like when you first got into the game, and how did it feel to score? Um. Yeah. Obviously, I didn't expect to play like the whole game even though, like I'm always used to playing the whole game but this is the first time in my life where I, this is the least I'd probably played in my life like I didn't really expect to play too much because these are high level guys 27 28 years old established pro players I'm not at that point yet I'm getting there I I see that I can see the reality of things and when I got in I was even though we were like the game was pretty much over I was so nervous like I I had never been that nervous in a really long time because the whole Armenian community was gathered together to watch, representing my country. But I was really happy I was able to hit a shot and score my first points. It meant a lot to me. Yeah, the crowd, like, they erupted when you hit the shot. Yeah, yeah. Both Especially times. when me, yeah, when me and my uh, my friend, who play, we play in L.A., Anto, we both got in. The crowd just was chanting for us the whole time. The crowd erupted as soon as we got into the game. That must have been really cool, like, to feel yeah, like, yeah. on the court. Of course, yeah, it was a crazy experience. I'll never forget it. What was your favorite part from this Armenia basketball classic? First of all, just being able to represent my nation, my national team, my country, especially through these tough times in Armenia. Like it, it means so much to be able to just have the name on the front of your shirt. And uh, it, it was ama an amazing experience to not only build up our country's basketball program, to actually build my own uh, basketball skills and become a better player because I learned from all these guys. I built so many connections with Coach Rex, with a bunch of these other coaches, with all these other teammates, these other guys who are now who I'm now brothers with. And they, they're so open to help. They're so open for me to just text them, ask them for advice. So it was amazing. Yeah, so just representing Armenia and like yeah, yeah, times, you know, like supporting them, like you know, like with art sock and everything, but you know, like uh -huh. repping the country. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. All that. What made you pick USC? To be honest, um, USC has been my dream school for a while now. Like not even including athletics, USC has just. If I wasn't even a basketball player, the USC would have been my school either way. I've always been interested in their business program because. Uh, their business program is top tier and I've toured their campus so many times. Like I'm in love with the, the place. It's close to home. I could live there while being comfortable enough to come back home whenever I'd want to be. 
my dad also works for USC's hospital. He's the CEO of one of the hospitals. So I, I can be able to build a lot of connections with people there. And then I had a meeting with, uh, with Andy Enfield, the USC coach. And that just took it to my interest to a whole nother level because he, I was able to get myself a tryout to potentially walk on. Yeah, that must have been, that's cool, like, for Andy Enfield to take the time, you know, to talk yeah. to you. And then you get to be where your dad, like, the school he works with. And, uh -huh. you know, like you said, great business in the campus. Like, really, they've been, like, upgrading it even more lately. Yeah, yeah. That, USC's every, like, everything about USC is getting so much better. Like, they've built so many new places in USC, new everything. Basketball program has the, is the best it's ever been. Football program is amazing right now. So, it's a it's definitely a great time to be a Trojan. Yeah, and, like, you see all the legacy. Like, have you been to, like, the place where they have, like, for all sports? Like, they have the Heismans. Of have... course, of course, yeah. I was there when we did the tour. Yeah, it's super cool to see, like, just the legacy. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. How does it feel that you'll be trying out for a team that will be a national title contender with guys like Boogie Ellis, Isaiah Collier, DJ Rodman, and Bronny? Um, to be honest, it's... It's an experience I never thought I would get or never thought I would get the chance to do. I know I'm a great basketball player, but these guys, they're, they're, they're like once in a generation kind of basketball players. And I'm just honored. Like last time, I know these guys are my age, but I could learn so much from these guys. And I think I could help them out too. If I, if the coach gives me the chance to be on the team, I feel like I could be a great person to just be, be there, be supportive, a great guy to have in practice, hard work or always there on time. And, I think I just bring so much to the team. Yeah, you'll be able to help them out too. Like, yeah, just by going 100% so that they're getting of course, yeah. for the games. You're supporting them, you know, standing yeah. up for them, like on the side on the bench. Yeah, of course. I'll be going 100% every practice. Maybe, maybe trying to earn myself some minutes, but we'll <laughs> Yeah, get in, you know, get a basket. Yeah. Uh -huh, of course, just like the Armenia, Armenia game. Yeah. And best. then the crowd can go crazy for you there too. Of course. Yeah, I'll, I'll bring my people out. I'll bring my people. What kinds of things will you be doing to get ready for your tryout? Um, to be honest, I think this Armenia basketball was a great way to get ready because I'm so used to playing against 18 year old bodies who like people who weren't as developed and as strong, as quick, as uh, like not not as good agility. So playing with these Armenian guys, they were so strong, fast because they're pro players. They're man. They're they're men. So it was it was really. Is that really tested me physically, and I really I got so much better from that because it I just was able to now play much more physically, understand what moves work on pro players, what moves don't work on pro players, what to do, how to come off screens, all this different stuff. So I learned that like I learned from the Armenia basketball, I learned how to play as a team, but obviously I'm gonna be working so much alone, learning, honing my skills, shooting my shots, everything. Yeah, because those are guys like who are in the weight room, have their trainers. Yeah, you know, of course, of like, course. So you got the experience, like see, like the big bodies. Yeah, yeah, of course. And then, especially with the Armenian team, like I had so many stuff I've never had before, like my own trainer, my own like whatever I wanted, massage therapist, like nutritionist, like stuff I've never experienced before. So I, I'm, I think I'm, I'm getting accustomed to the lifestyle I might have at USC. Yeah, and it'll, it'll help you out because now you you saw the professional level really. Yeah, yeah. When are your tryouts? Um, they were actually the when I first had my meeting with Coach Andy Enfield, he said they were gonna try to get me in sometime in July, but they're actually now going on a tour in Europe where they're playing like oh, friendly. I saw that, like Croatia yeah. or something. Yeah, yeah. They're going on a tour in Europe that is gonna maybe delay my tryout time. So he did he told me he gave me I don't remember the exact dates, but it's he told me in the beginning of September I'm gonna have like a two week full, like I'm gonna go every day of those two weeks. Some days with the team, some days alone, and I'm going to be working out, work, working out with the coaches and the team. That would be cool, like, just to work out with the coaches. and Yeah. You know, they give you a good amount of time so you can fully show your skills. Of course, yeah. And I'm, I, I'll am i be ready for that, so I'm excited. And it gives you lots of time to keep preparing, too. Yeah, I'm actually I'm happier that it is in September because now I saw what the pro level is like. And, of course, these college guys, these USC guys, they are pro level. So, mm -hmm. And they're pro bodies. They're they're as fast as pros, as strong. So, I I now I really know what to expect, and now I really know how to train because I saw them do their trainings, one on one trainings with their coaches. So I kind of stole some of their workouts. I'll use it for myself. Yeah, it's good. So you know what to expect. You won't go in there and be like surprised about anything. 
Of course. Yeah, I'll, I'll be ready. I'll make sure I'm ready. How would you describe yourself off the court? Um, Off the court, um, everyone always describes me as someone who's like really, like just really nice to people and like just someone who I'm, I, I would say I'm really comfortable just to be around and I love being around my family, friends, just very comfortable person off the court. I just, I like to chill, just n- nothing too much. Yeah. So not like too, nothing too crazy, nice. Yeah. Relaxed. Yeah. But I also take school very seriously. So, so I'll, I'll, school's first, even more before athletics. So that's the kind yeah. of person I am. A true student athlete. Yeah, yeah, that's why they say athlete, student comes first. Then the last question I was for fun. You get to take any three NBA players to dinner. They could be past or present. Who are you taking? Hmm, this, this is actually a very tough one. <laughs> of course, I'd have to take my favorite player of all time, LeBron James. He'd have to be there. Um, you might even meet also, him. Because now of course, I yeah, maybe I will. Maybe I Maybe I'll get to take him to dinner in real life. We'll see. But uh, uh, of course, I'd love to take Kobe Bryant, like someone who was taken from us too soon. So I would love to get to talk to him. It would be amazing, amazing opportunity. And just he he knows so much about the game and so much about life in general, life philosophies, so principles. So I would love to have a talk with him too. And this one is actually, a, a t- I'm going to twist this one around. It's not an NBA player. It's an athlete. My favorite athlete of all time my basically my role model i would take cristiano ronaldo with me I since i was that. a kid obviously i told you i used to play soccer first i'm a big soccer fan too so i'll definitely take cristiano ronaldo and he has a cool story you know basically like coming from nothing and now he's yeah a top, you yeah. know one of the best soccer players ever yeah if i was to take three people i think those are the three people because they're all very successful very hard working and they they all came from different paths so i would and I, I all look, I look up to all those people so much. They're all my idols. So they're all legends, yeah. you know. On top of, of the course, game. yeah. I hope you're okay with me picking a soccer player. For my oh, of course, game. I am. You know, whoever you want to take. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that'd be a great dinner for sure. Yeah, of course. I now you're making me want to invite them. I I needed like I need to DM them or something. <laughs> I mean, who knows? You know, Bronny at USC. You never know for LeBron. Yeah. Of course, uh, maybe Bronny could connect us. We'll see. <laughs> All right, thank you for taking the time to join me today. No problem, Nathan. Thank you so much. Of course, anytime.